Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool military field telephone and this is a TA-1042A and this is Michael's equipment from North Carolina and so basically he's got a note here with a telephone and he wants this turned into um, a regular home phone and we do conversions on these telephones quite often now we've never done the 1042A but we've done several other versions and so each time you do one of these conversions you have to work through each individual problem. Uh, there's a whole lot to these conversions and basically we, you just have to keep at it until you solve every problem and go from there. So what we want to do is kind of take a look at the telephone. This is the initial checkout. This is uh, basically pretty close to the other style handsets that you'll find on military field phones. Then we also have our keypad here. We have a volume button, like a lot of them will, for the volume. We have a off and on ring, and then to turn up and down the ring cycle. We also have what would be considered probably a light that flashes when it rings. So it's basically a normal type military field phone and we need to install a modular port so that Michael can simply walk up to this telephone and plug any line cord any length any color and that'll make for an easy simple clean connection now just taking one of these telephones apart is a pretty big deal there is nothing inside this telephone basically just a few things that we're even going to be able to use. Everything is going to have to be removed. This board which we've already removed is not usable for what we need it and so we have to disregard it. That has to be taken out. It's of no use to us and there's nothing there we can use. So basically now we're left with just a shell of a phone and so you know for those who may not understand exactly what has to happen in these conversions nothing that uh, was in this telephone other than maybe some of the variables and this uh, keypad and the handset is the only thing that we're going to be starting with so everything else has to be installed we'll get some more video as we move along so we'll take a short break and we'll be right back Okay, we're back now, and we're in the middle of the process of converting this telephone. We're going to show a little bit about what's going on at this point. We've been working on the handset, and so the original transmitter is not the proper value that we need. So it's of no use to us, and another transmitter has been installed. We're also working on the push-to-talk switch. That needs to be disabled. We also have our connection here, and so that's what we're going to be connecting onto our main PC board when we reinstall one. So we want to set this to the side now. Now I want to show you the inside of the telephone. Everything that we do not need has been removed. And so what we have here is a piezo buzzer. We have our potentiometers for our receive volume and our ring volume to turn it on and off. We have our LED. We also have a hook switch and we need to check that hook switch and make sure that it's going to work. If it's not, we're going to have to install some other type of hook switch. We also need to install a new main PC board and wire it to our keypad here. We're going to go ahead and take a short break and we'll be working on the telephone and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are working on the main PC board for the touch tone. And so this board 
with the military main PC board was totally configured improper for the way we need this board designed. So we're basically redesigning everything. The video may not be picking it up, but we've had to cut a lot of the traces on the one side of the board and reconfigure trace lines. So you have to use very small trace wire and we're reconfiguring and redesigning our traces that go to each key. And then we have to redesign the back side of the board. Basically what's happened here is there's some surface mount transistors that have to be taken off the board. We have to repair traces and we have to cut and eliminate other traces to redesign this board to use the way we need to use it to work the way we want it to work. So there's a lot of work involved in some of these keypads for the military style telephones because they don't always work like a normal keypad would work for a telephone. They're totally designed differently on some of them. And so once we go through this board and get everything squared away, we're going to put everything back together again and then we're going to start installing our PC board, making all of our connections for our functions, getting our handset back together again over here, and then uh, we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this telephone. So we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we have our PC board for our touchtone keypad has been redesigned, reconfigured, and now what we want to do is some test on this board. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and plug the analyzer in. We're going to go ahead and dial our numbers. You're going to watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now what I want to do is I want to unplug the unit, plug it back in, and we're going to use this key up here on top for redial. And you'll watch our numbers go by. We'll do that one more time. Only this time we're going to install our keypad. Now that we have our dial pad installed, we'll go ahead and plug the unit in and we'll watch the analyzer and we'll dial through our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to unplug the unit, plug it back in. We'll use FO and that'll be redial. And the analyzer will end in a 2. Now that we know that the keypad has been reconfigured and redesigned and it's working, we can go ahead and start on some of the other issues. So we're going to go ahead and take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this telephone. And we're ready to start our final checks. We have the telephone propped up. I want to show you, though, on the handset, there is a spring-loaded catch here. And so basically, when you hang up the handset, you have to push it into place. And that's normal. That's the way the telephone was designed originally, and so the handset locks into place. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and ring the unit. We have our light here that lights when it's in a ring cycle. We 
also have our volume control. We can turn it down. I'll let it go one more ring cycle. We'll turn it off. You can turn off the ring cycle. The piezo buzzer will not sound now. Your light will be an indicator that the telephone's working. We'll turn our ring cycle back up. We'll answer the telephone, give you some dial tone. Now we have a volume control here, and we can turn that up and down also. So we'll go ahead and turn the volume down on the receive. and then back up. What we want to do if you watch the analyzer is we want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end it at 2. We're using the F for the flash button and the FO for the redial. So we're going to hit flash and that's going to hang the unit up. That's going to give us dial tone again. And we'll hit FO for redial. And if you watch the analyzer, the analyzer will end in a 2. We also want to transmit into the handset. If you watch this red light on the analyzer, Every time I transmit, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit when you see that red light light up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know that this telephone, and we want to lock the handset into place, is ringing in on a ring cycle. It has receive and transmit. It's dialing out, and the numbers are a little stiff when you push them. Now that's factory. That's the way they were originally. It has nothing to do with anything we did. That's just the way they are and on this particular model. Now what we want to do is I have a button on the switch box here, and when I push that, that gives us a line out. And we're going to call a time and temp number. Now, they've been having problems with this time and temp number. Sometimes the recording will start, and you'll hear a hum, and then the recording will continue. That will be on their end. It has nothing to do with us. That's their equipment. So we'll go ahead and remove the handset and give you some dial tone, and we'll push the button, which totally takes the analyzer out of the situation. And we'll call our time and temp number. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Mike and he can enjoy this telephone now. These military field phones, when they're converted to home use, are very sought after. We get a lot of calls about them and they're really a unique and cool item to have. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at wwwa one telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.